everyone and welcome back to my channel happy new year this is a new year a brand new year i just want to say happy new year to all of my subscribers happy new year you guys really rock thank you so much for last year and thank you for those that are following me i i, I really appreciate you guys actually today this is a new year a brand new year i have lots and lots of ideas for you guys this new year actually today i'm going to be drafting an igbo blouse for you do you know this kind of igbo blouse those ones that are on instagram that you know there's this saying that the blouse sits perfectly on on the body that's the kind of igbo blouse that i'm actually going to be drafting for you today those kind of igbo blouse that when you put them on you know when you tie your george on it or your wrapper whatever it's really fabulous that's actually what i'm going to be drafting for you today this new year that will be my first video so if you actually find this video helpful please don't hesitate to hit on the subscribe button like this video share it you can tell your friends about it subscribe if you are new if you have not subscribed please subscribe like i said it thumbs up i really appreciate it it actually makes me to know that you actually appreciate what i do and also comment if you're actually having any question concerning this illustration or any other illustration you can actually ask me i am very fast and prompt to reply to your messages so actually today what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be using a paper to draft it for you that's what i'm going to be doing you can get your you can decide to do yours on the fabric you can decide to draft it on the paper and then keep your pattern and then use whenever you want to cut so i've made out for for time i've actually made out um indicated some lines on my pattern paper because this is a bustier blouse a bustier igbo blouse like i told you a bustier igbo blouse so i've made out the the lines the first line on top is actually the shoulder line you can use half an inch like because this is a draft i'm not actually supposed to add allowance but i'm actually going to be treating this draft like an actual fabric so with that it will be so easy for you to understand so i use i left half an inch on top that half an inch is for your seam allowance so this is the shoulder line then this is the chest line chest line most times basically standard eight inches is chest line from your shoulder to your chest line if this is like standard measurement is eight inches so that this is the chest line that's the first line on top then the second line this is the 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 nipple line that's what we call the breast point for those that don't know that's the middle the mid pit the, the, sorry the mid part so that is what we call breast point so i'm using 10 inches and then the under bust which is this point this is the breast point and then the under bust i'm using 13 inches and then the waistline this is the waistline like i said the breast point the under bust and then the waistline because we are dealing with an igbo blouse and you find out that most of those blouse they actually fit on this point they actually fit here and then it comes down and balance very well on top of your hip so i'm going to be using 16 inches for my for my waistline there's some other people they call it tummy also and then the full length of the blouse is actually 23 and then the remaining one inch i use as my allowance so that's what i'm actually going to be doing now so for this the basic measurement that i'm actually going to be using for this pattern is the shoulder measurement which is 14 inches 14 inches as i go along i'll explain to you for those that are new then the chest line like i told you is standard i'm using eight inches that's from the shoulder line to the chest line eight inches then the bust for this for the bust measurement which i'm going to be inserting here the bust measurement is actually 34 inches 34 inches then the under bust measurement which is this point the bust measurement is the bust circumference when you put your tape around the best bust circumference that's the the bust measurement is 34 then the under bust measurement is 30 then the waist and the tummy is 32 and then the down circumference that's this part you find out that those ego blouse will actually sit here is actually 37 inches so my you can see i have got two papers here this is, i'm going to be using as the back and then this is the front i'm not actually supposed to add allowance but i'm going to be doing it like a fabric like i told you so for the back piece the front piece will be a little bit smaller than the back so for the back i'm going to be using two inch allowance as my zipper allowance the essence is because of the zip that i'm going to be inserting at the back so i'll use two inches for the allowance at the back then when making any breast 
cut blouse, uh, bustier blouse, there is one thing that is standard that you actually have to know before you start. That is the, the bust, the bust span. Bust, what is bust span? Bust span is actually from one nipple to the other. You measure it, that is actually what gives the blouse that perfect fit. If, it's, if, if the, the, the line is here, the, the blouse will not work out, it will just go wrong. So the bust span for this, the bust span for this actually is actually 8 inches. So that is what I'm going to be using, 8 inches. So when you divide, divide 8 inches into 2, you have 4. So I'll add half an inch allowance to it. So I'll go along. As I go, I'll just be explaining. I'm giving you the measurement. So the first thing I'm going to be doing now with the bust span measurement, that's what I'm going to be using first. Like I told you, I said I'm using 4 and half. So the 4 and half inches i'm starting it from this top point and then from the top you can see it this is the four and a half i'll mark it like this and then when i come to the chest line i continue with my four and a half when i come to the under bust measurement sorry to the bed bust point i continue with my four and a half I just want you to understand what I'm doing. When I come to the under bust measurement, I continue with my four and a half. And here, this is where the trick lies for these Instagram blouses, Igbo blouses. You find that that you know, if I, if I'm gonna be using four and a half all through the middle parts of the blouse is actually going to be straight. But that's where the trick is. You find out that, that most of these blouses, you find that you see that they are a little bit open at the down. You now be wondering how did they do it? This is the trick for the down parts. I'm gonna be using. I'm not going to be using four and a half for the for the down part. I'm going to be using 4.6. You can use 4.6 or you can use 4.7. I, I don't want to use 5. If I use 5, it will be 10. It will be too big. I actually don't want to use 10. So if for somebody that is plus size, you can actually use you can actually use the full half an inch. For me, I don't want to use the full half an inch. So I'm just going to be using 0.7 you can use 0.6 like i said you can use 0.6 you can use 0.7 so i'm just going to be using it here and then for the down always make sure you measure when it comes to these blouses measure the down part of the blouse this is what you you measure it and know how it's going to be sitting perfectly on the person's waist so you measure so and for this the down part is actually 30 37 so i'm not going to be inserting that measurement here since it's 37 so when you get to the dam for the dam part you know this part i use um 0.7 but for this dam, i'm going to be using five inches so i'll use the full five inches so this dam part the midpoint will be 10 so i'll use five inches so that's that so now i'm going to be connecting my lines i'll just take my ruler like this You find that when you get to this point, you find that, that the, the blood is already slanting down. You see it? You can see it's already slanting down from the from the waist part. Okay, as you can see, you can see the line from the waist part. You can see the slant down. This slant is actually what will give the, the down part, that middle part. This a little bit uh, slanted like a little bit of opening that this is just the trick so the next thing i'm going to be doing now from the under bust part like this i'll take um one inch like this one inch on the right side on the left i'll take another one inch and then from this top point i'll take one inch here and then from this side to the left part, I'll take half an inch. I'll take half an inch. This is half an inch. And then this is one inch. So this is one inch here. This is one inch from the under bust part. From the under bust pan part. One inch, one inch one inch on the right from the shoulder side and then half an inch on the left part 
of the shoulder so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be connecting this point to this breast point and then from this breast point i'm connecting to the shoulder point that's actually what i'm going to be doing i'm actually going to be using uh, my ruler but i actually don't want them to be sharp so i'll just take it like this i'll take it like this This is the breast point, and then from here like this, I'll take it. Then from this point now, I'll take to this point, from this left side of the underboss, the one inch that I measured, I'll take it to this point. And then from here, I'm going back up. To the half an inch that I measured from the shoulder line, like this. If you notice, I just want you to notice. You notice that this point, when it's getting to this point, I did not allow it to be sharp. It is not sharp. You can see this point, it is not sharp. Just like that. It's not sharp. If you have a, a curve, you can actually make use of your you can actually make use of a curve. You can if you want to. But me, I'm I'm so used to my free hands that it actually works for me. So that's that. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, I'm going to be bringing it down from this point now. And now I'm gonna be taking this line and I'm gonna be drafting it down to meet this point, and then this point also. I'm going to be bringing it down to this point. So I'll go first with this point. You can see this lens. This is what actually gives it that perfect fit. So this is it. So actually, you're actually supposed to use like um, one inch from here. That's from the waist point. One inch. That's what you're actually supposed to use from this point. So from this point, you remember the one inch that we used up here initially. So you just come like this. So this one also, I'm going to be slanting it down from this point like this. It's going to be coming to join this point. So it's going to be coming like this. So as it's coming down, it's reducing. As it's coming down, it's reducing to join this point. So that's it you can see it here and then you see this point here so this whole middle piece i'm going to be removing it so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll cut it out you can see the slant is this slant that actually gives it that fit like i told you so i'll cut it out and then place and get my actual measurement you can see it the shape is already there so I'll do the same to this side. I just want to trim it properly. Right, so now I'm going to be taking the, the full body measurement. So you can see the middle piece, like I, like I was saying. You can see the shape is already here. So that's it. So now I'm going to be taking the back piece and then place with the front piece to actually get my full body measurement. So I'll take it like this from this top point. I'll just place it like this. So place it at half an inch here make sure the lines are accurate on top of each other you can see here and then this point when you get to this point you take it like this so i'll use this ruler i'll just use it to secure it like this so it doesn't shake like i said for the back i'm using half an i'm using two inch that's as my allowance 
you up, you actually check from this top point make sure it's half an inch you check from this top point half an inch you place like this and then make sure all your lines are accurate make sure your lines are accurate just ignore this part this part is a little bit more than half an inch you just leave it that way and then secure and then i'll see just secure so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to be inserting um, my food and um, body measurements like i said so the shoulder for this dress is actually for the sorry for this illustration is actually uh, 14 inches so when you divide 14 in total you have seven inches you take your tape like this and place on this front one don't you are not working with this back piece so this is actually seven inches you mark it like this so i'll add one inch as my seam allowance for the shoulder and then from this um seam allowance of the shoulder i'll take my my tape like this and then measure eight inches which is my chest line already so i'll just rule a line down to this point you can decide to use one and a half inch for your seam allowance for the shoulder So I'll take it to my chest line. This is the chest line. And then just maintain the line like this. This is going to be for my armhole line. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So from here, I'll just take my, your, your if you have a curve, you can actually use a curve for your armhole. You just slant it down like this. For your armhole, if you have an armhole curve, you can decide to use it so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be measuring the bust measurement like i said the bust measurement i'm actually going to be placing it just below the chest line and i said initially that the bust is actually 34 so when you divide 34 into four because the you can see the pattern is folded into four this is two piece and then the back is two piece you actually have eight and a half inches so i'll just take it like this this is actually my eight and a half inches I'll mark it like this and then i'll add um three inches allowance i actually i'm not actually supposed to add allowance for this because it is a draft so for if it's actual actual fabric you can add like, between two to three inches allowance to it but since this is a draft i'll, I'll think i'll just work with one and a half inch i'll just work with one and a half inch like this and then from this point i'll just rule like this down to this point i just rule it down and then for this since it is um you just rule it down like this so you make sure that the same thing applies to the to the breast point so what i actually have here now i have 10 and a half so i'll just bring it down the same 10 and a half here So I use my small ruler to, to rule it. So the next thing I'm actually going to be working with now is the, the waistline. The under bust measurement, you ignore it for this point because it is not a, a half cut. If it's actually a half cut blouse, if you are going to be cutting it half, that is where you actually have emphasis on this under bust. But since you are not cutting at this point, since it is a straight, it's the blouse is coming down from up. You actually, the emphasis now should be on the waist line or the tummy line as some people normally call it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, just secure i don't want it to shift for the for the waistline the measurement is actually 32 so when you divide 32 into four you actually have eight eight inches so this is actually my eight inches and then for this when you are adding you know initially i told you that for the bust point if it's actual fabric you add three inches allowance to it and uh -huh. but for this it is a, a blouse and well, I'm not going to be working with the under bust. The under bust are pickable if you are actually cutting a, a half cut. That is where you, your emphasis should be on the under bust. But since the dress is, a, is the one that is coming down, the, the blouse is a blouse that is coming down. And the emphasis, most time you find out that those blouses, those Instagram ego blouses, the fitting actually comes from the waist point. That is where it's balanced and fits perfectly on the body. 
So we are going that so that you are I'm gonna be working with the waist line or the tummy line. I'm not gonna be working with the under bust. So I'll take my tape like this. Like I told you initially, I said the waist measurement is 30. So when you divide 32 into 4, you actually have 8 inches. This is actually my 8 inches. Then I'll add 1 inch as my allowance because that's what I'm using. So I'll add 1 inch as my allowance down here. So I'll take my tape like this. Sorry. I'll take my ruler. I'll connect it to this point. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the down part of the blouse. That's the the, 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 bulk, the blouse circumference, which is 37. So when you divide 37 into two, you have into four. Sorry, you have nine and a half inches. So I'll just take my tape like this. I have nine and a half inches here. For this, you actually add enough allowance so you don't run into problems. So I'm going to be adding one. This is half one two three and half allowance so plus that half so that's three and half so i'm going to be stopping it here and then i'm going to be connecting this one down to this point so you can see the shape of the blouse is already out there so the next thing i'm going to be doing now cut it out So it's cut out so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be inserting the neck measurement the neck measurement so for this igbo blouse most of those igbo blouses their neck are not actually uh, really small they are actually a little bit deep those ones on the instagram that we normally see they are a little bit deep so like i normally say in most of my video you can actually measure to know how deep you want the neck of your blouse to be so i'll just take for this since this is a draft like i told you so i'm just going to be using um five inches it is a draft so you can always measure yours measure this is five inches i'm going to be cutting the back and the front five inches together so for the top point i'm going to be using three inches that's the the width this is the width what i just did five inches is for the, the length that's the depth and then the width so i use three inches with three inches you can never go wrong you can never go wrong so i'll just connect my lines like this it is a round neck i'm just doing a simple round neck so i'll just curve it like this So like I said, I'm going to be cutting the back and the front piece together. And then for my shoulder slant, I'm actually going to be using um, one inch from here plus the half an inch that was here so everything that's i'm taking half an inch from the shoulder line down so it's going to be one inch like this that's from the top plus the allowance one inch and then i'm going to be slanting it down like this from the neck measurement from the neck point like this i just make a slant the essence for the shoulder slant is for the shoulder not to be standing up like this now you have done so that's the essence so i just slant it like this And then slant it and then for the down this is a little trick if you leave actually leave your your blouse like this the down is going it's just going to be straight like this and it's not going to be fine so most times what i normally do in order to get that curve that perfect curve that even if you don't want to tie wrap on top of it even if you don't want to tie wrap on top of it you have a perfect curve down here what i normally do i'll take my tape like this and then come to this point this ending point and then measure one inch from the down i measure one inch like this plus the allowance that means i'm taking half an inch from here and then the half an inch allowance i'll just take it like this so this is like one inch and then i'll make a, a curve 
like this from this point this point now just make a curve like this you can see i'll make a curve And then you bring it to this midpoint, and then you just take your your tape like this, and then you cut out. You just make a slant, and then you cut out this sharp part. You can see the blouse is cut already from the edges. Just cut it out from the edges. Just curve it from the edge. So the back piece, I'm actually going to be opening it up. Open the back piece up and then with this I'll cut the other side the front the side of the phone but I had to keep it out because it was shaking I had to keep it out on the side so I'll just take it like this this side is already equal So this is the side this is the back and then for the back you look for the back you can do your normal regular waist that you can just hold your regular waist that at the back as for the back you measure and then do your regular waist that then for the front piece you can see the shape of the blouse you can see the shape of the blouse you can see the shape of the blouse it's so it's looking so perfect you can see the shape how my time is going to be covering this pattern paper you can see the shape you can see the shape it's not straight because if i had used it like i said if i had used the four and four and half bust span all through it would have just the middle will be straight down and you will not have that perfect curve so you can see the curve these are the lines this is it. So this is how you actually draft your Igbo blouse. That you can use them for traditional marriages. You can use them for different occasions. You can you can use them. You you know what you can use them for. So this is actually how you draft your Igbo blouse. Instagram. Um, what do I say now? Instagram. Um, style. This is actually how you draft them. So this is the, like I said, this is the back piece, this is the front piece. So I have actually come to the end of this video. Like I said, this illustration, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like this video, share this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and God bless you.